What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. How is everyone doing? I'm doing pretty well. How, yeah, I'm catching up on some work and just trying to keep myself motivated as the weather has gotten colder and still doing my daily life and I just, you know, you know how it is. You know, you get lazy, you get a little, I'm, I'm trying to get work done, but uh, it seems like I don't have enough time in the day. That's where my life is is, is at currently. Uh, but with that said, we do have a couple of news stories, some good ones. One's a deal. One is actually very interesting. And then the other ones are questions. We have a lot of questions from you guys. So with that said, let's jump into the tech news. Our first story of the day is a deal. Galaxy Watch 4. We're getting up on Black Friday, guys. So if you want to take advantage of this quote unquote Black Friday deal, which I don't know if this specific deal on Amazon is going to last super long. So if you do it, you probably want to jump on it right now. It's about the Galaxy Watch 4, not the classic with the uh, rotating bezel. This one has a digital rotating bezel, but check this out. This is 50 bucks off. You can get the either 40 millimeter for 199 bucks or the 44 millimeter for 229 bucks. It's the Bluetooth slash Wi-Fi version and under 200 bucks to get a, a smartwatch from Samsung, which this is a really, really good watch. This is a watch that has the Wear OS now installed on there. It's got the walkie talkie app that you can take advantage of and a bunch of other stuff. Um, more, way more app selection than the Samsung uh, older watches did like the one, two and three. So great upgrade to do. Um, looking for a Christmas present, looking for a gift for the uh, hubby or the wife or the kids for Christmas. This is a fantastic gift to get them to be very, very happy with it. Pick it up, link down below guys. Next up is all about the Galaxy S22 Ultra and how the S Pen responsiveness has gone increased, I should say, like the speed of it has increased drastically, like crazy, crazy. Now the fastest that Samsung has come out on previous phones with the S Pen has been nine milliseconds, which we, at the time people were like, oh my goodness, this writes so good, it's so amazing. It writes in terms of feels like I'm writing just like with, with a pen, I don't feel any delay. Cause that's really what the milliseconds and the, the, the responsiveness for means is that you just don't feel any delay. It feels like you're basically writing in real time with something that you would like a pencil or a pen in real life. Samsung seemingly has broken that record by a lot, like destroyed it. Check this out, this is a tweet from Ice Universe. Now it's pretty vague, but you've got to assume, because why not, who doesn't like to make an ass out of themselves? Ice Universe says, two milliseconds, that's all he writes, it's very vague, you know, you gotta buy into what he's actually saying. But what else could we be talking about? It's gotta be the S Pen, right? So we're looking at the S Pen having a crazy improvement, not that it really needed one, but an even crazier improvement with the responsiveness when you write with the pen on the display of the S22 Ultra. This is freaking crazy, guys. I mean, I, I'm not, I, I say it all the time, I'm not an S Pen guy, I'm just not, it doesn't fit into my lifestyle, the screen's too small, and, the, and it just doesn't fit into my lifestyle, I don't need to be writing with a pen. But if you are, this is gonna be amazing. This is gonna be a big selling point already for the phone. And it's it's much needed because we're looking at the S22 Ultra and in some ways it seemingly hasn't changed that much versus the S21 Ultra, except for the S Pen being inside, the camera on the back being slightly redesigned. We've heard rumors that the cameras won't be that big of an upgrade versus the S21 Ultra, that it's gonna be more software-based improvements versus hardware and those software improvements would still probably come to the S21 Ultra. Obviously, you're gonna see improvements in the performance of the phone ever so slightly because it's gonna have a faster processor, maybe more RAM, but at least the same amount of RAM. Storage-wise, it's probably gonna be very similar. But this is kind of good. This is good to see these little you know, changes, things that people might want or need and, and are looking forward to. This would be a big one, I think, for a lot of people. Also, before I forget, thank you to our new Patreon member, Kylie Betts. Thank you so much, Kylie. Super appreciated. If you wanna be a Patreon member, it's linked down below. Kylie joined up as our uh, super ultimate fan. We got two of those, and that's uh, Jeremy Kunin and Kylie Betts now. So thank you so much to both of you. Thanks for watching. Your question of the day is, do you like the S Pen? What do you use it for on your phone? Let me know in the comments down below. With that said, let's jump into the Q&A portion of the video and drop that beat. First question of the day comes from Brad James. You're trapped on a deserted island. You can only have one phone with you. Past, present, and future. What phone do you have? That's easy. Galaxy Z Fold 3. I, I think you'd always choose the newest one. Um, and plus, the Galaxy Z Fold 3 really satisfies every itch that I would need from 
um, having a big display and I want to watch videos on it to a camera that's fairly good um, and everything else has internet I mean it has everything I'd want this is I'd, so definitely a folding phone definitely the Galaxy Z Fold 3. Ari Freishman says have you replaced the screen protectors on the main or front displays of your Z Fold 3 if so with what protectors nope there's nothing on there they're bare naked nothing on the front nothing on the inside either uh, of here uh, completely naked so I have not replaced it am I gonna replace it no am I worried no I've dropped this phone a couple times too and the case has definitely protected it. So yeah, I'm good with that. Mustafa Ahmed, hi Greg. I think if Samsung makes clean vanilla Android Fold phone for Google would be the best phone ever. Do you think that the upcoming Pixel Fold will be that phone or will they make another Fold phone? I, I think it's a great question to ask and it's very exciting to think about. Like does Samsung want to um, let their phone, their, their Z Fold phone, get out into the wild with another, you know, just plain vanilla Android and have Sam Google sell it as their own phone. I don't see why they'd be totally against it um, due to the fact that they're still making the phone. They're making the, the, the phone in terms of like, they have to, they get to get the, they sell it, they making the hardware, they're making a profit off of it, but they don't have to handle any of the customer service. That's all on Google side. So I think it's a win-win. Google doesn't have to figure out how to make an amazing phone. And that's something I've always said. It's like, if I could get, I love Samsung hardware, but sometimes I like, especially lately, I've been liking the Google software better. It's more smooth. Um, the cameras are better, at least for photos, at least for photo of people. So I would say, yeah, to, oh, I'm totally in for it and I hope they do. Will they do it? I don't know. Murtaza Zarani, from your wishful, thinkful thoughts, do you think the exciting Fold 3 users will get the perks of the Google UI or will it be different special edition altogether thoughts? So he's talking about yesterday's story or I talked about and so that the previous question was too, where the Pixel Fold is maybe Google and Samsung are working together to allow them, allow Google to use the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and throw in their own software. That was the um, assumptions I was, I was making. It probably won't happen, but it's good to think about. And um, he's asking with this one, would, they, would the UI be Google? I think the, the, the UI would be all Google with its own Google features and stuff. And it would be different than the software we get with Samsung. But I do think some of the stuff that Samsung already does would carry over to Google side in terms of the way they do multi-window and things like that, but I think it would be baked into the software for all foldable plain vanilla Android phones. Murtaza again says, love your work and daily updates, much appreciated. Was wondering when the One UI Android 12 will come to this, the Fold 3 in Canada. I'm actually surprised you guys don't have it, but if you're talking about the real full-on release, you've got to expect probably December, sometime in December, but don't be surprised if it falls into January, but definitely in that December, January timeframe. Colton says, really great informative content. Lots of compliments from India. Thank you, Colton. Question, would using the 60 hertz or 120 hertz settings impact the touch sensitivity or longevity of the phone's screens? So longevity, I don't see it making any kind of difference, like in terms of it lasting longer. Um, in terms of you asking about the impact of touch sensitivity, it probably would if you're dropping down to 60, but I don't think it's gonna be very noticeable um, when it comes down to it. So I'm gonna say no to that. And then again, longevity, no either. Lionel Conserios, hey Greg, great videos. Do you think S22 phones prices will drop from last year? I don't think they will. I, I can't even, I'm trying to remember what all the prices are. I'd have to look, but I think the prices for the S22 phones are are gonna be, uh, I think they're gonna be, oh God. I, I wonder if they're gonna try to compete with that Pixel 6. That's tough. I don't think they will. I think they're gonna go like 699 for the S22. I think it'll be like 799 for the S22 Plus and then probably 999 for the Ultra, at least starting off anyway. Tara Pilly Industries, are we going to get 5G Ultra capacity icons and notifications bar in the S21 series from T-Mobile? I have maybe, like I know you're talking about one of the new, I think they got that from the government, uh, one of those, that, that new band. Um, I would assume so, you would think they would. So I'm gonna say yeah, but I have no idea. And Dave rounds out the last question saying, hey Greg, do you think Samsung would let me trade in my Z Flip 3 for an S22? I love the phone, but the battery needs to be charged a lot. What price will they give me on the trade? So I'm gonna say that what I've noticed with Samsung is like, so if you traded that Z Fold 3 in for the Z Fold 4, they'll give you more trade-in value. But if you trade it in, to, uh, in for another model, I feel like they don't give you as much as they would with any other phone. 
And again, this is my guess. My guess is gonna be that they're gonna, most they're gonna give you on that Z Flip 3 would be six to 700 bucks. Whereas I think if you're trading in like an S21 Ultra, I think they'll give you like eight or 900 bucks. Just guesses, but I'm not, it's just when I think about past things that they've done, I just, I feel like you won't get, you'll get a hundred or $200 less than what the S21 Ultra people will get. Thanks for watching guys. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below with the word question. We will see you in tomorrow's video and down the road.